Hello everyone. The last three to four videos, we are just simply looking at different various types of questions that can be solved by elimination method. I mean simultaneous equation solving by elimination method. The last one that we are going to look at right now is called as double elimination method. The most lengthy one, the most difficult and the most uh, confusing. Okay. So let's start with it. Now, what is the difference between the last question, last video and this one? In the last videos, in the few two, two the last two videos, we saw that the, the, uh, the variable is in the denominator, but it was just single variable, either it was x or y, right? But here, if you see the denominator is x plus y and x minus y, okay? So that's why it's going to be a little bit more lengthy. So the same method, but a little bit more different approach. So here we will say let 1 upon x plus y, the whole thing is equals to u, okay? And 1 upon x minus y equals to b. Now this supposition you can do only if both the equations have the same type of denominators. Otherwise it's not possible. So you have to check that first and then you will assume it. So both here, both of the equations are having x plus, one in the denom x plus y in the denominator and it's having x minus y also in the denominator. So that is why it is possible. Okay, now as uh, we will be taking both the equations on both two different sides on left and right and we will find, change it into a simultaneous equation in two variables. Okay, so let me take the first equation on the left and the second equation on the right. As the equations are too big, I will first copy them up below. So I am clear which equation is where and I don't mix it up because it is going to be a lengthy process. Okay. Okay, I got mine. Okay, now I'm going to separately write it as, yes, the numerator separate and the denominator separate. What do I mean by that? I'll say 22 times 1 upon x plus y plus 15 times 1 upon x minus y is equals to 5. Now, 1 upon x was, yes, u. And 1 upon x minus y is b. So, I got my first equation in terms of u and b, right? Let me work on the other one. It's 55, okay, times 1 upon x plus y. Sorry. Okay, and the other one is plus 45, 1 upon x minus y, which is equals to 14, right? So, let me change the variables, that is, sorry, the 1 upon x plus y as u and 1 upon x minus y as Okay, so I got my second equation also. So, can we take a variable u and try to make it equal? Why I am selecting u? Because if you see, I have a 22u and a 55u. Uh, I have to multiply for both the equations, right? Let's check the v. 15v and 45v. Can we get 45 in the table of 15? Oh yeah, by multiplying by 3. So we'll just take work it out on the first equation and we'll take the variable v. So we're going to say multiply equation 1 by 3 and we'll be done with it. Okay, so let's do that. So 3 times 22u plus 15v equals to 5. That will be equals to 66u plus 45v equals to 15. So now what should I do? Let's check the sign for 45 in both the equation 2 and 3. This is 45 with plus and this is also 45 with plus. So if the terms are having the same sign, then what should we do? Yes, we have to subtract. So we'll say subtract equation 3 and 2. And 3. Let me put these two equations first and then the sec third equation. Okay, my second equation is 55u, 45v. Is equals to what? Check it. Yeah, it's 14. Okay. Now, 66u plus 45, sorry, is equals to 15. Now, subtract means what will happen? The sign has to be changed. This will become a minus, this will become a minus, and this will become a minus, right? All the signs are going to change as minus. This is plus minus, so cancel off, right? So now what will happen, 55 and 65 subtract, so you get a minus 11u and 15 minus 14 is minus 1 because the 15 is having a negative sign. 
So u is equals to minus 1 upon minus 11 is equals to 1 upon 11. So I got my u, right? I'm going to put it on the second equation, which I was already written on the right side. So I'm going to continue from there. Yeah. So I'll say put equation, put u is equals to 1 upon 11 in equation 2. What is my equation 2? 55u plus 45v is equals to 14, right? So 55u times, oh, sorry, 1 upon 11, sorry, plus 45v is equals to 14. So this cancels off and I get a 5. So 5 plus 45v is equals to 14, right? Let the 5 be shifted on the other side. So you get 45v equals to 14 minus 5. So 45v is equals to 9. So v equals to 9 upon 45, which is 1 upon 5. Correct? Are we done now? No, because we have to substitute the value of u and v. And this time our u and v are what? x, 1 upon x plus y and 1 upon x minus y. So 1 upon x plus y is my u and 1 upon x minus y is my v. Okay. So let's put that. u is 1 upon 11 and v is 1 upon 5. So let's put that. So 1 upon x plus y is equals to 1 by 11 and x minus y, 1 upon x minus y is 1 upon 5. So let's do the cross multiplication. So what happens, this denominator will go to the other side and this denominator will go to the other side. So you get 11 is equals to x plus y. And here, again, this will go up and this will go up. So you'll get 5 equals to x minus y. So are we getting a direct answer here for x and y? No. Again, we ended up getting an equation, right? Already we did an elimination method, but we ended up getting an equation. So again, we have to do the elimination. And that is why it is called as the double elimination method. So here it's a direct one because x plus y and x minus y. So we'll directly say add the equations. If you want to number them, you can number them as 4 and 5. Okay. So let's quickly add them. Let me number them as 4 and 5. So what we will say x plus y is equals to 11. x minus y equals to 5. So this will go off. Add means no sign change, right? So this will be a 2x is equals to 16, right? So x is equals to 16 divided by 2, which is a 8, okay? So now I am getting my value of x. So which I will put in equation 1. Put x is equals to 8 in equation 5, not 1, I'm so sorry. So we get 5 is equals to x minus y, 5 is equals to 8 minus y. So I'm going to shift the y on the left and the 5 on the right. So it will be y equals to 8 minus 5, which is a 3. So in the end, I got my values, x is equals to 8 and y equals to 3. So if you see here, we have done the elimination method two times. The first time in terms of u and v, and the second time in the terms of x and y. So therefore, it's called as double elimination method. Hope this is clear. The next sum which I have taken is, I may take you to the first step, the second step of elimination. That is the second elimination, I leave it for you. Okay. So here, the denominators, again, you have to check it because it's very important before we substitute. So here, my denominator is x plus y, 2y. Here also I have x plus 2y. And here, 3x minus 2y and 3x minus 2y. It's going to be a very long one because I have fractions also as the, as the coefficient. So, let's put it on the right side, what we are going to suppose. Okay. So, let's say 1 and the denominator are not a small one. So, x plus 2y is equals to a, sorry, u and 1 upon 3x minus 2y equals to b. Okay. Let me make the board half. Let me copy the questions because they are very lengthy equations. So let me put one upon two times, sorry, x plus two y plus five upon three times three x minus two y. So sorry, yeah, minus two y is equals to three by two. Let's check I'm right, yes. And then I'll put the second equation on the left side. I'll just help you with the first part. Remaining, it's yours work. Okay, your work to do it. Okay. 
Okay, next I let me copy this 5 upon 4 x plus 2y sorry minus 3 upon 5 3x minus 2y okay I'm struggling with my space okay equals to 61 by 60 okay let's do that first we'll do this left hand side equation then we'll think about the right so it's 1 upon 2 times 1 upon x plus 2y plus 5 upon 3 times 1 upon 3x minus 2y is equals to 3 by 2 right okay what is my u yes this is my u and that is my b so half times u plus 5 upon 3 times v is 3 by 2 so where will we multiply the u and v yes to the denominator so it becomes u by 2 plus 5v e by 3 is equals to 3 by 2 can we say the complete denominator 2 3 2 is 6 lcm of that is 6 so we will multiply the whole thing by 6 so u by 2 plus 5v e by 3 equals to 3 by 2 everything is multiplied by 6 so what will happen if 6 is multiplied here 3u is remaining if 6 is multiplied with 5v e by 3 2 will remain that 2 will multiply here so you get 10v why because this 3 and 6 cancels you get a 2 that 2 will multiply with 5 and that is equals to again 2 is down uh, so 6 and 2 when multiply will cancel off so you get a 9 okay so in the end i turned up with this equation okay now let's work on the right side okay so the right side it's 5 over 4 i'm sorry times 1 upon x plus 2y okay then yes minus 3 upon 5 times 1 upon 3x minus 2y i'm sorry is equals to sorry okay 61 by 60 so will that become 5 by 4 times u minus 3 by 5 times v is 61 by 60 now where will be the u and v get multiplied yes to the numerator so this will become as 5u upon 4 minus 3v upon 5 equals to 61 by 60. Now, if you look at the denominator 4, 5, 60. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply the whole thing by 60. Okay. So, I'll do this step in a more elaborate way. So, 5u by 4 minus 3v by 5 equals to 61 by 60. So, they are big numbers. So I'm going to open it more further. I'll say 60 times 5u by 4 minus 60 times 3v by 5 is equals to 61 by 60 times 60. The 60 is if it gets cancelled. 5 ones are 5. Yes. 12s are. 4 ones are 4 15s are. Okay. So I end up with 15 times 5 which is 75u minus 12 times 3 which is 36v is equals to 61. So this is how I get my second equation. Okay. So this is my first equation, this is my second equation, you have to do the elimination, I think you can uh, multiply uh, 25 to the first equation, that will give you a 75 and you will be able to solve it further. Okay, you will get your u and v, right, and then the u and v you have to substitute further, right, and what will happen with the u and v, u will be equals to what, 1 upon x plus 2y. And we will be 1 upon 3x minus 2y. So you will get x plus 2y equals to something and 3x minus 2y equals to something. And then you will do the elimination. Okay. So the second part of the equation, what you will get is you will get x plus 2y equals to some number and you will get 3x minus 2y equals to some number. Okay. Because you will be solving, you will get u some, uh, a value and a v which will be there. So, when you further solve it, you will get x plus 2y equals to a number and 3x minus 2y equals to a number, which you will further eliminate by just adding the two equations and get your value of x and y. So, I have taken some homework questions for you to do, okay, for extra practice. Hope it is clear. Thank you.